How are you doing ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to MechWarrior Online with Scout. In today's video we're going to be taking a belated look at the newest addition to MechWarrior Online, the Warhammer 2C. I apologize for not getting this video out to you guys sooner but uh, my wife has actually not been feeling real well. We were in and out of the hospital pretty much all week last week. She's doing better now although we do have an appointment Monday but that's why it took me a while to get you guys some coverage on the Warhammer 2C. But here it finally is. But we'll take a look at this in the mech lab. I'll show you guys a build for the mech and then we'll take a look at some gameplay in the new Warhammer 2C. Now the first thing I want to do is talk about it here. Now obviously this is a really really good looking mech as usual. Alex and the art department over at PGI do a great job and this thing looks just absolutely fantastic but there are a couple of things you're going to want to take note of to kind of wrap your head around the warhammer 2c the first thing you're going to want to look at is these arm mounts which are traditionally for your um, primary weapons you notice that they're kind of low although not too bad there's definitely worse in the uh, clan entourage but they are a little bit low more importantly they're incredibly wide and that can be a little bit frustrating uh, convergence wise and also allies and buildings blocking your shots so some of you may want to take your uh, main weapons whatever they are and move them into your torso which is a little bit higher and a little bit tighter but you guys know me I just that uh, doesn't feel like a warhammer if you do that so I did not do that and if you choose to go that route keep that in mind the other thing you need to be aware of is the hitboxes on this thing are not exactly user friendly. I mean, I cannot tell you how many times torso twists all you want. I've gotten my center torso cored out. And as an 80 ton mech, it, it is an assault mech, but just barely, just by five tons, uh, five tons lighter, and it would still be a heavy mech. And so this thing is really, unfortunately, not a, uh, a sledgehammer type of mech. Uh, like you typically think of when you think of Warhammers. This is more of a second line mech just because its hitboxes are so bad. And in addition, its hidden movement stats are, are not particularly great. This thing is not particularly maneuverable. It doesn't back up well. It doesn't shift well. It doesn't torso twist very quickly. And so it, it's difficult to compensate for the terrible center torso hitbox by torso twisting. So that's going to play a role in kind of how you play this mech and think, something to think about when you're designing your build. And last but not least, even though most of these mechs have primary energy loadouts, I mean like five, six, seven energy hard points, they get no heat mitigation whatsoever, which is really, really frustrating. Particularly if you want to go with something that actually looks like a Warhammer 2C and use ERPPCs like I did, it's really, really hot. So yeah, as, as much as it's a great looking mech, there's lots of downsides that you should keep in mind. So with all that in mind, let's take a look in the mech lab and I'll show you guys what I have done with my Warhammer 2C. All right, guys, so here we are in the mech lab and you can see the first thing I've done is I ditched the standard 320. The center torso hitbox is so bad, you're gonna get cored out in the center torso most of the time, no matter what. So I didn't see any reason not to go with the Clan XL engine. Now, the next thing I did is I went ahead and made the decision to keep ERP PPCs as my primary weapon system. And that kind of fed into the decision to go to an XL. Going to an XL saved me a lot of weight. That allowed me to ditch the endo steel and the ferro fibers. This does come with stock in order to make room in the mech. Then I ditched the five medium pulse lasers, changed them to ER mediums, uh, got an SRM6 with Artemis, and then just crammed this thing with as many heat sinks as it can handle. I think I actually added a little bit of armor. So what I've got here basically is kind of a second line assault mech because it's 80 tons, it's lighter. I'm gonna use the range of the ER PPCs, the fact that it does have a nice velocity boost to PPCs as it's kind of one and the only quirk, and the range of the ER mediums to support my other assaults and heavies as they make the push. And then as the game kind of draws to a close, then I'll go in and start throwing around what's left of my armor and try to help them finish off mechs. And that's kind of the logic behind this build because I did wanna play something that looked like a Warhammer 2C. Yes, you can trade these all out for pulse lasers and all that, and that's probably a more efficient build, especially considering the map rotation that the community likes to vote on. But for this first build, for this first video, I wanted to show you guys something that was very much a Warhammer 2C, something that used dual ER PPCs as the primary armament and see if I could make it work. And I think this works all right, even though really you do have to kind of fight the mech a little bit to make it work. It is, it will work in the quick play queue. So I'll show you guys the uh, 
skill tree right quick and then we'll get into some gameplay. Alright guys, so here is the skill tree and obviously we're going to start out to the right and work our way to the left because this is kind of the foundation actually of the mech is over here on this side. We've gone with our standard two cool shots and one artillery strike. We went with 60% radar derp to try to keep us off radars a little bit. And then here's really the important part, max cool run and max heat containment because Dual ER PPCs are so hot and try to back them up with ER mediums on top of that is really hot and you're you're going to have to have this if you want to try to run this mech like this. It's, it's an absolute must. Uh, building off of that, I went over to the firepower tree. I picked up the laser duration quirks to try and help my ER medium so I could try to minimize my exposure time because like we talked about this thing does take damage pretty poorly and it's difficult to twist it. In addition, I picked up more velocity, range, and, and heat gen wherever I could along the tree. And then with the points that I had left over, I went into the survival tree and picked up armor hardening to try to help the survivability of the mech. So that's about it for the tree, about what you would expect. Let's take a look at some gameplay in the Warhammer 2C and uh, I'll try to show you guys that if you get the right map and you play it right, this is a feasible build even if it's not the most efficient build in the whole wide world. So let's take a look at the gameplay. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Frozen City, yeah. Surprise, surprise. So this will go one of two ways. Two ways, if I can speak English. Um, either they'll come charging across, or my team will charge across, and we'll be stuck in a DPS fight and a support mech that doesn't like it. Or, they may chill out across the valley, which will allow us to sling ER PPCs over there, and uh, this could be very well, could go very well for us. Man, English is not my thing today. So we'll have to see, apparently you can't walk over that. Oh, gotta be honest with you, this mech is trying, it's, uh, it's not a bad mech, it's just, the hitboxes aren't great, and so much of the community seems to like Solaris City, you know, all the up close maps. It's hard to get a um, a great game in this mech. I can get decent games all day long, you know, three, four hundred points of damage and a killer, sometimes two. But I don't want to show a whole bunch of average games. I mean, I don't mind it. I don't want to show 800 damage games when you don't often get that, but. At the same time, nobody wants to see mediocre games all day long, so it's kind of annoying. I don't know what those guys are doing back there, just scratching paint. Normally at this point in the video I'd tell you guys all about the history of this mech, but uh, Base is being there's not a lot to tell. It was, uh, I don't know, I think kind of a, I can't believe that guy actually hit me and did damage. Ah, not much. Um, it was kind of a... Uh, how shall I put this? Maybe a cash grab, I guess, by Alfaso. They wanted to cash in on the popularity of Warhammer and the Marauder, so we just made up clan mechs. You know, second line mechs, but every clan had them, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you just start getting a little bit more history when you get into the four and later variants where Diamond Shard picked them up and started uh, remaking them and selling them to the other clans. Target but acquired. notable pilots, all that stuff, you don't get a lot for these. This. The this is something you can almost tell was clearly done. What's that little guy doing? Um, to maximize on the popularity of the chassis. Uh oh, hello. Heat level critical. Need to try to get to some cover here. I think they may try to push through there. But what are you doing way over there in Echo A? see if we can get over here. We need long sight lines and some cover to make this work. Like right here is not too bad, although I'm gonna have to back up. I don't want that annihilator drilling me. Oh, blood ass. I'm still locked on the annihilator over there. Come on, Pete. Yeah, take that. See, this is what this mech likes. 
these long to medium range engagements. We got some time to let the PPCs and whatnot work. If the guy would come out and lay on his auto cannons, he would probably out trade me. But if he keeps peeking like this, I think we get the better of these trades. Ah, oh, ran out of torso twist, but we were still able to get him with the arms. New target acquired. And I want that annihilator, but I'm afraid to leave these guys. Yeah, this guy's pushing. Get the SRMs in on it. Not hit my friend. Coolant flush. Oh, he killed himself. We still got a KMDD for that. Uh, can we get the Annihilator now? Oh, nope. This guy's target here. Destroyed. New uh, target nope. Acquired. Oh, contact right. So I'm going to back up and then, yep, go straight up here. Let's look out. I'll help you with the King Crab. Oh, he's oh, dead already, too. No, no, no. Gotta keep going. Gotta keep going. That's that Thanatos, I think. I kind of want this Highlander. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Oh, come on. Take that. Yeah, just a little bit too late. And this guy is getting on my nerves. He's actually almost in effective range. That Those are starting to hurt. I can't tell if he's got one PVC or two. Let's just go around. Maybe we'll find something better to shoot at. I thought I saw a mech down there in Echo 6. No, it's still a Highlander. Now these guys are pushing. Yeah, I did see a guy. Target Black Lantern, I think. Let's take target that. Acquired. That's that ER PPC guy again. Just hit my right arm. Can I get him as he comes across? Nope. It's Target spotted. Somebody it's up there as well. I highly doubt it, dude. It's 8 to 2. How did that miss? I should have taken that torso right off. Bah. New target acquired. Assassins. Now I gotta be careful in here because here's where you can get into a TPS fight. And that's not what I want. Target destroyed. Oh. New target. Apparently I have more help in there than I thought. Where'd that Enemy guy go? Dude, just captured. right here. There he is. Come on. Oh, I thought he was going to go left. No, 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 no. You messed up. Ah, oh, how did that not kill him? There we go. And where's the last one? Enemy base is being there captured. he is. Almost didn't see him. Oh. Well. I feel like that was a pretty good game. In, in game slower paced games like that, where people will stick to cover and trade, you can really do well in this Warhammer 2C. So you tend not to get a lot of kills because it doesn't punch really high, but yeah, look at that. One kill, but 10 assists, one solo kill, two kills, most damage dealt, 770 points of damage. If, if you slow down and let this mech work, it can do a lot of damage, especially on a cold map like this. So, yeah, I'm really happy with that game. Um, so we'll boot it back up and see if we can get another one. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Whoa! Get to the target and capture it. Cut down any enemies that get in the way. Alpine Peaks! What dark sorcery is this? This might actually be really good for us. Yeah, I've heard that before. We just need to get up on the high ground. And dominate some people. I see you over there. I know that wouldn't have done any damage, but who knows? Maybe it'll make them slow down and think a little bit. Probably not. Hmm. Let's see. 
We got a Mad Cat 2 lagging around back in the back. That's not good. So again, what I want to do is get up on a hill like so, pound people with ERPPCs, and then come in later in the game and finish it off. Because we just don't have the heat to get in and brawl. We want to do things like that. Although, you know, we want them to be a little bit closer. Ah, oh, come on. This is still a little bit far. But if it's far for me, it's way far for them. Ah, oh, come on. The guy off to my left is probably a better target. Go away. Hey, you didn't like that, did you? New target now, acquired. what I don't want is that little bastard to run up here next to me. Oh, man! I thought he was going to stop there. Stormcrow wants some more. Target acquired. Ouch. I hurt a little bit. New See, that Stormcrow acquired. needs to close the distance, but he doesn't want to. Oh, come on. New target acquired. I think that Mr. Kodiak. Target destroyed. New target acquired. Ah, see, this is what we want right here. No, no, no. Strike online. Uh oh, I think I've messed up. I've fallen and I can't back up and use my berm drills. Damn it. It didn't look like I got anything with my artillery strike. That's unusual. New target acquired. Ooh, that mad cat's a little bit too healthy for my liking. Let's see what we can find here. Focus their assaults. I think that was the mad cat. Did you guys get that fire starter? Ow. Take that. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, come on. Yeah, I see him. There you go. Have that right in your face. Oh, how did that miss? Oh. And he just ran out into the kill New zone. Acquired. Poor bastard. Oh! Target destroyed. Ouch. New target acquired. Ah. Oh. Heat level critical. Let's back up destroyed. cool down. New target acquired. And it's almost time to push in, I think. Oh, yeah, so I'm pushing down the middle. Aww. New target acquired. There we go. Yeah. We're gonna pummel this guy a little bit. There we go. I think I'm gonna close in on Yeah, you can hear yeah, the team's even talking about it now. Let's close in. Don't block me. That mad dog's getting wrecked. Ah! Oh, come back. Damn it. New target acquired. Go down the other side. I waited just a little bit too long, but you know what? I think it'll work. We'll hang a left here. Um, see if we can counter push into them. New target acquired. Come on. Let's go. They're going to right the other side of the hill, guys. Yeah, we're already coming. They're not gonna like how that ends. New target acquired. Let's get these big mechs here. Look out, look out, look out. Take that. New target acquired. And that. Target destroyed. Oh, I thought I had a kill there. There we go. Critical. Oh, it's almost as good. Oh, how did I miss that cheetah? Target We're gonna go destroyed. after this guy. Take that. Right in the face. Oh, a little bit low. Heat level critical. I thought I had that guy. Not fast enough on the draw, apparently. Well, yeah, it's pretty textbook how you got to play this mech in order to do well in it. I think we a little bit slow on the push, I think, but uh, all in all, 
pretty good. Yeah, one kill, two assists, ten assists again. One KMDD, 611 points of damage. I will take that in an 80 time mech all day long. And yeah, let's, like I said, if you take your time and play it right, this can be a very effective mech, even though it's a little slower than some of the others. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, two games in the Warhammer 2C. And as you can see, it, it really kind of, it, it depends on the map in the game. If you can get a map with a little bit of range, you know, something other than flipping Solaris City, uh, HPG Network, Canyon Network Domination, you know, if you can get something with a little bit of range, and if you can just slow the game down a little bit, uh, you can definitely have big games in this mech because it has reach and dual ER PPCs have pretty decent punch. You just kind of need time to work because you, you cannot afford to get into a DPS fight in this mech. Uh, if you can avoid those situations, then yeah, this build will work all right in the quick play queue and you can have a good time in this mech. Uh, would I strongly recommend it like I would the, the Inner Sphere Warhammer and Marauder? And no, no, unfortunately I can't say that. Uh, if, you, if you wanted a more meta build for this mech, something that was more effective, I would recommend you go with uh, two large pulses, five medium pulses, and SRM6 or something like that, which is actually my alternate build for this mech. And that's a good build as well. And I've had a lot of fun with it. I'll probably show you guys a video of that. But uh, funnily enough, the first time I went to that build, what do you think happened? Watch the paint job. I'm walking here. Artillery strike online. Jesus. Two minutes in, we got an assault lance. So I haven't even moved out of where we spawned. <sighs> this will go well. Stop hogging my ass. Stop being an idiot. Look, right there. Here they come. Are you shitting me? Oh my yeah, god. Target spotted. Yeah, and of course, as soon as I take my PPC, so shortly. Target spotted. Roger that. As soon as I take my PPCs off, this happens. Target spotted. Meet you. Target spotted. Target spotted. Oh my God! Look at this. Artillery strike. Oh, my soul. Oh my God. Nor you cannot make this down, shit up. So just make a firing line. Uh, you cannot make this shit up. What I wouldn't give for my ER PPCs and my ER mediums right now. You cannot be fucking serious. Uh, I would m look. At, they're not even shooting at me. Oh my god! If I had my PPCs right now, you'd be toast. Target acquired. Look at this. Ugh. You can't even make this shit up. This makes my soul okay, hurt. Okay, well, that was out of shit. Thank you. Uh, it's because you're a moron and stood and spawned for three minutes. Oh. I don't. <sighs> I don't even. I want my DPCs back. Yeah, incredible, right? You just. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't have words, yeah. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. You go with the Pulse Laser build, you get stuck out on friggin' Alpine or something ridiculous. Go with the ERPPC build, you're continuously on Solaris City. What are you going to do? I don't know. But uh, all in all, it is a good mech, uh, a decent mech, I should say. You can have a lot of fun with it, and I enjoy stomping around in the Warhammer 2C. So that's it for today, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.